You see here? Look at this fell over by itself. I had nothing to do with it. The weevils get on the inside and they chew it all up and then it falls over. So I am going to take it out, but I want you guys to see that it died and I didn't do anything. I promise, I'm innocent. A neighbor came down with a chainsaw and it is done. And uh, we did something cool here. This is going to be an herb planter. At least until it rots out. But I gotta get rid of this stuff and clean this area up. I would like to take this corner here and plant it because it's not useful space at the moment. But there's probably a lot of rocks in there, so I might just uh, chop in some pieces and plant them with transplants later on. But for now, I'm just gonna clean this area up. I'm gonna fill this up. The bottom of it here is all full of rot from rotten bits of coconut palm, but I'm gonna fill it the rest of the way with this mostly finished compost from the big compost bin digester. And then we will plant a bird pepper in it. Why not? We're just having fun now. It's pretty good. You can see the cocoa leaves did not want to break down. But a lot of this other stuff is beautiful humus right now. Nice compost. Good compost. Huge compost. The best. When you transplant, be gentle. I think it's better to water the plant in nicely than it is to shove the soil around it to push the roots in. You don't want air pockets around it, obviously, but you also don't want to crush the poor little thing. Just be nice. Tread lightly on the earth and on your bird pippers. So, does this method work? Yes, it totally works because I've done it before. I took stumps in the past and grew various things in them and probably one of the most successful stumps I used was when I planted a cabbage inside of a rotten chunk of log that had a hollow in the center of it and the cabbage grew wonderfully. So it's sort of like a hugelkultur pot. Hugelkultur being um, Sepp Holzer's method of high mound gardening where you bury a bunch of wood underneath. It's sort of like that except it's a pot and it's not a mound. I mean they both have rotting wood in them so you know it's pretty good. So call it a uh, hugel stump. So the hugel stump worked and so I think this bird pepper is going to do fine here and besides it's just sort of cool it's a fun experiment and yeah we'll see how it does it'll be entertaining I do believe that the capillaries in the wood will continue to draw water from the roots in the ground for a period of time even though it's dead just by the shape of it I've read that somewhere I think that water is transported up to a certain extent so if it dries out this should have between the rotting wood and the capillary action of the wood some moisture coming to it in sort of a passive irrigation, sub-irrigation method. So, we'll see. It'll be fun. Uh, also, speaking of fun, I was invited to speak at the Prepper World Summit. So I presented a, I've got a one hour presentation on Survival Gardening 101 where I cover plant foraging, survival crops, double digging a bed, all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, calories versus nutrition. It's just really, it was a lot of fun. Rachel helped me with it too. So if you sign up in the link in the description, you can see that for free. The Prepper World Summit is coming up in a week or so, and it's going to be a good time. And I was pretty happy with my presentation. So see that and check me out on the web, thesurvivalgardener.com. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David. David the Good We listened to Portis Head And drank Spiced Rum He threw me off the ramp And 
broke my foot and broke my wheelchair all in good fun I'm working, they're playing. Yeah. They're working too, actually. Yeah. They're working at playing. Yeah.